Coca-Cola, American cars, nothing beats a classic. And this A-Liner is no different. The 2024 A-Liner Classic. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's go take a peek of this new camper. All right, how long does it take for you to set up your tent at your campsite? A minute, two minutes, maybe more? What if I said this A-Liner is a breeze, it'll save you time and you can do it in 30 seconds? Well, we ain't gonna do it today because I gotta talk. But if you don't believe me, come on out to Beckley's RVs. We'll let you set it up yourself and time, time you. But let's go through the setup of the easy A-Liner, right? On the outside, you have a couple clips. You, you can start on either side. But we have one here for the left side that will release. This particular classic is equipped with dormers, so you're gonna have two latches on the front for the front dormer and two latches on the back. Make sure you release those. And the second main roof line latch. And now we have lift off. If your A-liner is equipped with a sys bar, unlatch, get your roof line locked in, bring it back here, and lock that bar back in. That also doubles as a wind assist. So in case you're at a beach camping with a lot of wind or in the mountain with a lot of wind, it helps you protect that A-liner um, roof line to stay sealed. Go back around the other side. Again, you got your bar. Make sure your roof is locked in. Pop in your pin for the wind assist. Now we can start on the sides of the, of the A-liner. Bring your wall out. All right, when you're inside, you're gonna have four latches to engage, one right inside the door. Lift the opposite side panel up and engage the front one. You can work to the back and engage the two rear latches on the side panels. And then you can attack your dormers. Once you get the dormer outside wall hinged in place, now you can work on your side panels. Each one has a latch and repeat that again for the other side. Once you have done all the inside, make sure you get your door latched up. Voila. Nothing beats a classic with this 2024 A-Liner Classic and its exterior features. We're gonna go through one by one real quick. I have to commend the amount of storage on this to bring all my camping gear. I have a storage in the front, I have a storage in the back with a nice latch so that way it's hands-free. I can throw all my goodies in there without having to fight the darn door. Moving back, we have our outside amber lights, which is great, especially for bug season. But as the night or the day turns into night, I've got my porch light to be able to relax calmly and be able to see everything on the porch side. The table is removable from the inside, so you've got a nice, beautiful day and you're not inside, bring that table outside and use it for some extra prep area or maybe play some cards or something. But especially, you could use it, ideally like right here with our two burner stove, again, from the inside. It is removable and you can latch it on the side and do all your cooking outside safely and confidently. Again, our second storage door in the back that goes underneath the bed. Wrapping around the back, you'll have your matching spare tire and rim. And on the utility side, we have a little bit extra uh, stuff here that we have based uh, on the Classic Series over the Scout Series. We still maintain our water hookups and our potable waters, but now we have a water heater. We have hot water to be able to sanitize you know, after those dirty days, wash up some hands and wash up some dishes. Electric, of course. If you're so lucky, if you're out camping, we even have cable hookup for TV inside. You have, of course, your refrigerator and furnace that we'll show you in the, from in the inside. And last but not least, an outside shower with a nice little hook, hands-free again, that, I, that way I can soap up, use um, both hands to get maybe some of my dishes and clean up my feet. Some A-liner classic exterior features. Nothing beats a classic. The 2024 A-Liner Classic is feature rich even on the inside. We're gonna start when you come through the door, 
you immediately notice a microwave that you'll be able to zap some uh, quick popcorn or some meals, reheat some meals uh, for those quick, um, maybe in a pinch meal time. Plenty of counter space to use however you choose. I do, while we're here, have to note the windows. We have a lot of windows. Actually, all four sides open up, open and close, and you even have some privacy curtains to, to lower. That way, especially if it's a nice day, we can get that breeze coming through and feel like we're on the outside, even though we're on the inside. This particular classic is equipped with the full sofa bed. You, you will have, or a full mattress. You will have the other option as a sofa bed that you can use a sofa by day pull it out kind of like a futon and have um, a bed at night. And again, the dormers here on both sides, we have a window that we can open and close again with the privacy curtains. Moving around to the kitchen area, this model is equipped with heat and air conditioning. We have our controls over here. A couple buttons down here, we have a water heater that on board, so that way we've got the hot water coming from the campground that we can heat up. Uh, water pump, especially if you're on your potable water, you're out uh, boom uh, docking, we still have access to pull water from our potable tank. Some storage, again, the exhaust for your furnace. On the refrigerator, we have a nice size refrigerator to throw us in some goodies to keep cool. It is a three-way refrigerator, which I love. I've done a lot of camping. This gives me that flexibility to be able to power up my refrigerator however I choose. Driving down the road, I have DC power or power off my battery or maybe even boondocking. I have AC power in case I've gone to a campground. I'm paying for some electric and I've got the camper hooked up to it. Obviously run that. And one of my favorites, which probably is the most efficient if you're out boondocking is propane. Propane will heat up that, ref that uh, compressor system in the back and thus cool it off the quickest. Above the refrigerator, from the outside, you notice the, the stove top. This is the same stove top. It's an inside outside two uh, burner stove, uh, propane stove top. So that way I've got um, uh, obviously the versatility to cook wherever, inside or outside, which I love, especially if it's a nice day outside. And last but not least, you have your front booth. It is, the table is flexible as far as moving inside or outside. You can uh, swing up the legs, take it out through the door, use it as some outside space. Here, I can use it as a four person dinette booth, or if I wanna move it out of the way, just use it as kind of like a nice little European uh, cafe uh, dinette, if you will. And then at night, it easily transitions into a bed. There's a couple ways you can do it. The bed will actually act as a your bed support, but let's say you have it outside or you have it in another capacity. A-liner has provided you with some wood slats that you can lay across. But for this example, we're gonna use the table. Get those legs pushed up out of the way. You have bracing here at either side. We're gonna lay the table down. Back cushions go in place. And voila, we have a, now another bed. We have the bed, the big bed this for two adults, and I would say probably you can easily get two kids over here. So again, nothing beats a classic, the A-liner classic. All right, there you have it, easy setup, a lot of features, nothing beats a classic. Do you agree? Give us a thumbs up if you do. The 2024 A-Liner Classic. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Don't forget to comment below on any questions that you have that I can answer further or for anything that you wanna see further in depth. And show us some love, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you at the campsites. Mm -hmm.